I think you'd all agree that there's something fundamentally wrong with our education process, the way people learn and that transfer of knowledge. We just look around the world and we see how it's falling apart. So the question we've got to ask us, what does the future of learning actually look like? There are going to be a multiple of options on Ford Protocol that will allow learners to develop their own learning style, which will break away from that industrial revolution school's method of a standardized curriculum. And these will incorporate things like decentralized learning, a fractionalized revenue model, an equitable reward and incentive system, and it will really eliminate the falsification of results so that we're getting proper accreditation and validation of degrees and diplomas that, that are being achieved and, and earned by different students. So what we're building at Forward Protocol is a decentralized platform that will have a, a decentralized education marketplace and a decentralized jobs board, a jobs marketplace, amongst many other things. And the protocol will run on five smart contracts. They are fundamental to the design and the functionality and the, implement, the implementation of the protocol. And they'll leverage some of the best features of what blockchain technology offers to provide a feasible solution. It makes it easier for everybody to participate in a global learning economy. Ford Protocol's vision for a democratized and decentralized education in the future is to, it's to create a system where an educational or a teaching institution or an expert or you know somebody like that can actually launch a certification program that lists necessary credits across certain categories for a student to qualify in that area. And the system where students can select teachers of their choice from anywhere in the world, guided by tutors' ratings based on their skill and credits from delivering that course to many other students that have used it and, and been successful in it. So these choices will be driven by a student's perspective, by the available teachers in the areas of specialization that fit with their passion, their interests, and their philosophies. And these conditions will actually encourage an engaged, motivated transfer of knowledge, which will ultimately benefit both the expert and the learner. Imagine a situation where we need to get a, a marketing credit for, for a degree that we're doing. And this marketing course is worth 10 credits. But I'm a fashion designer, I love fashion. You're a B2B um, marketing person. Somebody comes from a financial perspective. Another person might come from a real estate perspective. We've all got different interests. Why should we all learn from one teacher that teaches a one-dimensional marketing course? Shouldn't I learn from a fashion designer, the real estate person from a real estate person, the financial person from a financial person? And at the end, we all sit in an accreditation center and write the same exam, get the same accreditation, get the same credits for that course, but all from our perspectives, which encourages and fosters and drives our passion, because it's something that we're interested in and we're learning and adding to our knowledge in what's going to further our careers and help us as we go down the line. That's what Ford Protocol is setting up. It's that underlying layer that facilitates and rewards the transfer of knowledge, that ignites passion with that earn as you learn protocol where experts and learners and teachers and students can connect and both sides of the table be rewarded for their input and their achievement and I honestly believe this is going to fast track and, f and just, just really change the whole learning landscape. And that's ultimately what we want. People that are more engaged, that are doing better, that are learning more, learning faster and contributing to really successful lives where they can contribute on a global marketplace.